Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Kimbo here, and it's time for an epic, epic Hasbro Beyblade X unboxing. So we got this right here, this two-pack uh, featuring Yao Kong and Helm Knight. We got a Hasbro exclusive up in here, man. And I uh, went Baku Bay hunting recently. You can go and check it out. But this is actually, uh, took a third trip for Baku Bay hunting, actually, like a third and a fourth. The third one we found uh, last night at a GameStop. And then the fourth uh, was actually... Uh, Walmart's the local Walmart, literally. So sort of just stuck to the guns and just went there. But um, my tech died at that point, so couldn't make a Baku Bay hunting, but went and found this Yell Kong Hell Knight 2 pack, man. So the Hasbro exclusive Yell Kong, you know, we got literally Monkey. Now, Monkey Bay up in here, uh, you know, and the mold based off of Wyvern Gale. Which, uh, yeah, should give this thing some big time defense. And it's got 360 GB, so it's got GB as well. So I definitely see it being a uh, defense type. And then Helm Knight 580T. So definitely see this uh, having balance. But, uh, yeah, so they're calling this stamina type uh, Yao Kong. Okay. But uh, 13, 37, and 50. And then the Ratchet 360 has 15, 9, 6, and 60. And then the bit being GB or Gear Ball. So 10, 15, 45, 30, and 30. Really similar to uh, Wyvern Gale's combo, except it's different, you know, ratchet. But uh, Helm Knight, the purple version, basically the one from, uh, what, from the, this came out in the set, I think. But, uh, yeah, 20, 55, 25, and then 580, having 12, 8, 10, and 80. And then the bit being taper, 35, 20, 20, 25, and 80. So big time balance with it. Major anti-attacker. But without further ado... Uh, let's get into it. So, if I can get it. Uh, three, two, one. Let it rip. Hey, that was, that's probably the most clean one that I've had so far, for sure. That was sick. All right, so, get these parts out. Bop. Bop. Saving the artwork. Uh, no launchers with this, so you'll want to get a single or such, or the set, in order to get the launcher. But, um... Yeah. So pull up on there. If you like to preserve the artwork like how I do, pull up on the plastic, and then all the blades should come out. Yep, there you go. Got even more artwork to work with. Hell yeah, man. I'm excited. Like opening bays, but then having some artwork uh, for some art to make. I like doing collages. But uh, yeah, yeah. Bop, bop. Ooh, the colors, though, for Yao Kong. That's sick. All right, so we got Helm Knight up in here, the nice purple. It's like the one that we saw under TT, the recolor. Anybody who wants the code for it, there it is. But, uh, yeah, then we got the Ratchet 580. Five blades on it, 80 height with it. Boom, put those together, get that quick. And then the bit being taper. So 580, definitely, like, having some height with it, more on the side of stamina. Because having that height, but it makes it prone to bursting if hit underneath. But still, having the five blades, I think, helps it out a bit. Five not being a bad ratchet. I think it definitely adds its uses. And then we got taper up in here, which you talk about a balance a bit. Got some pretty good attack with it, consistent attacks, uh, some good stamina with it. And then it stays in one spot after getting some attacks, and we could use that defense, and especially in the case of this Helm Knight. But Helm Knight 580T. Uh, Completely assembled, looking so, so sick, man. I love the purple on this thing. And uh, yeah, it's looking really dope. So I've got the uh, TT version right here. Literally, yeah, enough said twins. It's the one it's based off of. And it looks so sick. <laughs> but um, yeah, now we've got Yao Kong up in here. Based off of Wyvern Gale, but definitely switched up. You can see, uh, you know, the monkey head right there. Like the mouths and such, which is so cool. Got the monkey heads right there. And then the fists on the other side, like the eight fists. But that... Yeah, that's so awesome. The motif looking so, so sick. This is a Hasbro exclusive bay. You know, this, re like, well, not really recolor, like, remaster of Wyvern Gale, but being Yao Kong. Looks like they switched up the gaps. It might have a bigger gap even than Wyvern Gale had, honestly. But anybody who wants uh, the code for it, there it is. And, yeah, it's pretty round for sure. Let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. where's my Wyvern Gale? There it is. So, just gotta look at it and compare. So, yeah, definitely more on the, the thin side. But it seems like, yeah, more solid with the with the plastic. 
like the use of the plastic and such. Yeah, those gaps. So you see a lot of the gaps are closed in, so not as much airflow. So it might have a bit more weight, but it is like more thin. So, uh, yeah, I'm curious. Found my handy dandy uh, scale. I think the batteries, well, I hope the batteries aren't dead. They might be dead. In it. No, they're not. Okay. Well, at least hanging on a little bit. I might, might have to get some more. But, uh, yeah, for science. 30.92 grams. Okay. So, uh, you talk about like big time weight being around like 35, I'd say. So, 30.92 Wyvern Gale. 31.84. So, it's a little bit, it's a bit lighter than Wyvern Gale is. And the gap with it and such, but you know, might make it circle around with the counter attacks with the GB. So if we can't uh, take that away, but uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, gotta put it back together if, if I can't. Come on, pay that. Okay, there we go. Boom and boom. I'll weigh them all together, but you know, Yell Kong up in here, and then we got uh, 360. Seen this ratchet a bit, you know, having the three points with it. The triangular ones, I don't know if it'll help it out in this case. Um, but then the GB or gear ball, I can imagine it being more balanced under Hasbro and TT, honestly, because the gear ball and the TT circles around a lot. Maybe it'll be more balanced to stay in one spot under Hasbro. But Yao Kong 360 GB. Overall, looking really, really dope, man. This thing does look really sick. So now I'm curious, like the overall weight, how is it compared to uh, Wyvern Gale? So Wyvern Gale, 41.24, okay. And then, there we go. And damn it, okay. That's why I need new batteries. It's been a while since I've used it. 39.26, so it's about two grams lighter. All right, well, yeah, it is on the lower side weight-wise, but... You know, got to see how it actually does with uh, some battles, which, you know, will show in time. Not going to do the battle immediately with uh, Wyvern Gale or Yell Kong. You know, I got to hype it up and save it. But I will be doing some uh, test battles for you guys. So, yeah. It is a little light out. I know a little bit of a glare, but no big. So, let's do the battle between ha Hasbro and TT. Battle of the brands for the Helm Knight. Or Knight Shield. Same bay, just different company. Hit. And oh, that extreme finish right there, and that goes to uh, that goes to TT's. So, it's three. Ooh, almost went out. And no, oh, that was a self KO. Come on, none of that. Ah. Ooh, that KO right there, and that was once again TT's. Now Hasbro still like stepped up to the plate and did well. TT's just having the edge with that battle, so yeah, but definitely a good uh, second option if you can't get the TT version. You know, still got some big time weight. I'll even show it just being real. Anybody who you know might be like, oh hey, they're cutting weight big time. Like some of their exclusives, I won't lie, you've seen it, yeah, but. That's what I think. Like maybe with some exclusives going forward, just adding a little bit of a weight, a little bit, but they still can be useful. Forty-one point seven nine for the TT one, and then oh, that's the Hasbro one. Forty-one point six. The Hasbro one's actually a bit more than the TT one, at least for my version. So yeah, that shows. They're they're doing one to one, man. Definitely doing one to one. But uh, yeah. So that's really exciting to see, like just even the weight and everything, all, all questions answered with that. But uh, yeah. So now we got Yao Kong up in here. Right, three, two, one. Cool. Let it rip. And no, be being aggressive in general. Okay. And Yao Kong, it's gonna use like those points on it, maybe like the fist points, because they are a bit more jagged, like getting an uppercut. Being able to hit, even being a stamina type, kind of like how um, Viper Tail or Tail Viper is. But uh, yeah, you can see it having like a Talon Terror effect where like it uses that defense and stamina for some attack because the overall shape of the blade. 
But uh, yeah. Anyways, I guess why not? We'll do the battle between these two. Yo, Kong, Helm Knight. And damn, dude, Helm Knight just okay. It does have the weight advantage, but sheesh. And no, what? Oh no. I just picked it up and it, it burst it as I picked it up. Hopefully it's not that easy to uh burst. I mean it's a stamina type. So yeah. and a bit more time to burst it. And ooh, that hit almost getting that KO. And now coming down to stamina. Draw the back of this thing, I think. Even being a stamina type. So yeah, that's three. The first hit, wow, okay. I think it's got like a gap with it, like more than like Wyvern Gale does, so that might make it a bit prone to bursting, but uh, yeah, it's still a dope looking uh, exclusive and such, but uh, you can tell how he switched it up a bit. Seems a bit more thin and a bit more of the gap exposed with it, so maybe three wasn't the best choice for like a ratchet. Maybe it would have been better with something like, say, uh, nine, like even if it did like 960, but. Still, this thing looks really, really cool. And it's nice to see we're getting exclusives. Hopefully it opens the door for them to have their true, true exclusives that aren't just made off of molds of like TT base. But yeah. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this review on this epic Hasbro Beyblade X2 pack featuring Yell Kong and Helm Knight. But hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell about my channel name so you're notified whenever I upload a video. You'll see battles incoming with, uh, you know, this day. I'm getting through the other battles first. I got a bunch to do. They're releasing so much on both ends, both TT and Hasbro. But yeah, till next time, it's your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Till then, stay awesome. And let it rip. I'm about to here.